Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. You can hit the subscribe and enjoy the weekly content that we put out. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Funny and Jesse, and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel. We also have a Patreon account. You guys can check it out and become members, and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and everything else that you guys are doing. We are very, very grateful. So thank you very much. I hope you guys are doing alright. And may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to the importance of praising Allah after Salah. Move to make. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Hi. Praising Allah. If I say Subhanallah, I'm glorifying Allah. If I say Allahu Akbar, I'm declaring the greatness of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, and this is something I have found very beneficial, not only for myself, but Alhamdulillah, we find it in the Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding the adhkar or the remembrance that is the sunnah, the practice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam after your salah. And you would find where he speaks of the subhanallah 33 times and the alhamdulillah 33 times, the Allahu Akbar 34 times or the addition of la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahu al-mulku wa lahu alhamdu wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer the declaration of the greatness of Allah that is none worthy of worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Him alone, and so on. This would be such a great statement. I am declaring the, the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes we are sitting quietly without having said anything, without saying anything. Perhaps we are just seated. We are lying in the bed. Sometimes we are driving a vehicle. Make an effort to think about declaring the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You may not know that may be your dying moments. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. We are seated sometimes even in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are seated at home. The sisters, someone might be in the kitchen, for example, busy with something. It does not need much effort to declare the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. Repeat it, there is no harm. There is no fixed number of times you can remember Allah with your tongue. There is no fixed number, you may continue. This is something voluntary. Remember, don't waste your moment. Wallahi, these are moments that are really precious. The day a person dies, he will perhaps regret over how he spent his time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us spend our time in a constructive way. Remember the tongue is such, if you do not occupy it with something that is beneficial, it may occupy you with something that is harmful. This is why it's important for you and I. Every single person that will benefit from this particular uh, platform, even in the smallest way, the full reward will go to every single person who's donated even the smallest amount. So don't think that I cannot do it and go to the donate section and follow it up and try and give a donation that might be a small amount but regular and even if it's just a one-off amount if that's what you can manage alhamdulillah This was quite straightforward, so I'm thinking I really don't have to say much, but I guess I can reinforce the point. At the end of the day, we have to remember God in everything we do. When you find yourself lonely, say, say something to God or be thankful that you still have your life. Still remember God in that situation. When you're happy, remember God in that situation. 
when yeah, whatever happens whatever happens to you in life whether good or back a setback it doesn't matter just remember god in each and everything you do with every step remember god you're cooking remember god you're watching something remember god reactions remember god whatever the case is and yeah i guess everything else was covered by mufti Meng. let me know what you think about what mufti Meng said and if you guys practice this bit after your prayer or whatever the case is and how it's working out for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video